Tinubu inherited the worst government in Nigeria. Heather statesman Edwin Clark, and these have generated reactions from Nigerians. So, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. The Edda statesman and the leader of the Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, Pa Edwin Clark, has described that, have declared that, please pardon me, President Bola Tinubu inherited the worst government in the history of Nigeria. Clark made the statement in an interview with the Daily Sun newspaper published today. Asked to comment on Tinubu's performance in office so far, Clark said, No, I don't comment on that because I think one year is too early. He made the worst government in Nigeria. That is what he inherited. I told him when they were doing June 12th that there is nothing to celebrate. What did Buhari's government ever produce? And then, because you are APC and you will continue with this his program, with his policy, then you will find it difficult. So far as I am concerned, it's, it will not be difficult for the president to correct some of the numerous mistakes of misadministration of Buhari. So I am saying that for me, I won't accept him. He has a lot he is doing now. The 97-year-old Ijo leader also called for the release of the indigenous people of Biafra, leader Namde Kanu. Kanu should be released, except you are holding him because he belongs to the Igbo tribe. Because the war has been over for about 40, 50 years now, they detained Kanu. Why detain Kanu? It is unfair. He should be free, he said. Okay. Nigerians who have reacted to this said he did not inherit any worse government from anybody because he was part and parcel of the useless government of Buhari. Exactly. Exactly. He was their chairman of the worst government in Nigeria and he was aware. The mess his party have already kept Nigeria and he said he's going to make everything, you know, fine. But I became scared when he said he's going to continue from where his presidential stop, I was afraid. And now everything is happening. You know, when they say President, Bola, uh, President Mama the Buhari caused everything happening now, I don't quite understand. I don't quite agree. You know why? And we wouldn't find we understand or understood the fact that the former president of Nigeria, led by President Muhammad Buhari, you know, actually messed up Nigerian economy. But can you not compare what happened during Muhammad Buhari time to this very moment? No. It was not President Muhammad Buhari that removed first subsidy on inauguration day. That is where President Tinubu started failing. How can you just come out and you say first subsidy is gone and people not take that, you know, as a, 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 a yastic to do whatever they want to do. Immediately he said that everything went up. He said first subsidy is gone. There is no imp implementation on grant. No implementation on grant, I meant to say, you know, to cushion the effect of first subsidy. Not a, there was no government. You just come and say first, first subsidy is gone. Is that how to rule? Before you make decisions, that decision, that first subsidy decision is a very difficult one. Before you make such decision, you should understand, you weigh it left, right, and center. There is no refinery on grant. So how, how are we going to do this? No, nothing like that. It was the only one man, one man war at that very time. He said first subsidy is gone. So when people say, Man, Muhammad Wari cause everything, I don't really take it. He himself was part of President Muhammad Buhari government. So he was aware of everything which he said he's going to correct. So even this government complaining about President Muhammad Buhari government is, is, is a shameful thing to say because he's a continuation. Why are you complaining? 
when you know everything. You said you are going to make things right. But right now, the situation has become worse. And now they are trying to push it back to President Mohamed Buhari and all that. Well, Nigerians, everybody just have to be very, 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 very prepared on what is on ground and what is, uh, you know, we soon before Nigeria. The hunger in Nigeria is taking another dimension, you get. The present government under Tinubu is chained by growings committed by the previous head who was at the helm of affairs in Nigeria, who never had any good intervention on Nigeria, but only on how to show power, divide the country along ethnic lines, and to show those he loves and those he hates, and want them out of existence. The only bit of blame for Tinubu is that he was aware of all these rots going on then, but kept quiet because he did not want to offend the man at the head then, because he, Tinubu, was much concerned on how to grab power from his, from this other outgoing man. But the rings were not 100%. Is designed, but let him loosen a bit the tightness of the breads on the poor masses who are glaringly dying of severe hardship. You are wrong. Tunubu was among the first to tell Buhari that Nigerians were still hungry when he visited Lagos about two years ago in office. Instead of Buhari listening, himself and his cabra went after him and almost deny him his old-time ambition of leading Nigeria to greater rights. Stop defending what is not right, sir. Over one year now, what, what are they doing? They are, what they are doing is purely gambling. No clear policy directions. Time we tell, sir, is Emiloko syndrome. Okay, so guys, these are uh, some reactions from Nigerians. So, also take, but make we hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you, and bye for now.